All right, fine. Here's some things I want and possibly don't want in the upcoming Zelda movie. That is still so weird saying out loud. Specifically, these are things from the games that must appear in the movie in no particular order. The green tunic. This is non-negotiable. The master sword. Don't, don't you dare exclude the master sword. A downward strike and a spin attack. Both must occur. Both. The Triforce, and ideally a story surrounding the Triforce. Preferably an original story that took place on the timeline, the actual Zelda timeline. That would be really cool. But if you gave me a semi-retelling slash reimagining of Ocarina of Time, I wouldn't hate that. Related note, an Ocarina would be cool. Epona. Link needs a supportive horse pal. Fairies. Maybe even great fairies. I can leave or take a fairy companion like Navi. Honestly, I'd rather have Zelda be Link's traveling companion, but that's that's beside the point. Octoroks. They have been in every Zelda game but one, I, I think. They should be in the movie. It's a weird hill to die on, but it is what it is. Moblins and or Bacoblins, although I kind of feel like that's a bygone conclusion at this point. But lots, lots of monsters in general, please. And if you give me a healthy blend of, like, practical effects and CGI in order to render them and make them realistic and cool and stuff, that's even better. Goma would be cool. At least one recognizable Zelda boss that isn't Ganon. Related note, all the other races of Hyrule. Well, some of the races of Hyrule. If... If, if I don't see at least one Goron and one Zora, and then maybe a Rito or, or a Deku Scrub or a Korok running around doing cute stuff, I will riot. You hear me, Aviarod? I will find out where you live. Also, the Gerudo. For reasons. Death Mountain. Even if it's in the distance, like with the cloud and everything. In fact, as many recognizable places and vistas from the series as you can possibly fit into the movie in the budget. There has got to be at least one scene where Link is riding across Hyrule Field with soft music playing in the background. At at least one dungeon, or like a dungeon-like environment. Freaking puzzles! I'm talking crystal switches, I'm talking eye switches, I'm talking... Uh, Torches that you have to, like, you know, lit light across a room and, 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 and link standing and activating tiles on the ground. Revel in that crap. Don't be afraid. Channel some Indiana Jones. Some, some recognizable side characters. Beetle. Tingle even. I know, I'm, I'm probably risking a lot by saying that, but yeah, seriously. Malin, Talon, Ingo, that would honestly be amazing. If... If Error showed up, I, there's no telling what I would do. The official Zelda theme. I, I, I don't see the movie happening without it. In this amazing symphonic rendition. I mean, it's been done before, but I need another one, please. Zelda's Lullaby, too. Seriously. Ganondorf's theme, and you'd better make it as scary and foreboding as possible. And this is going to sound like a really weird, specific ask, but I'm going to ask it anyway. A cover of the Zelda 2 dungeon theme, preferably a metal cover. If you could do that for me, I would, I, would, I would honestly be happy with anything else that you did. And if this is live action and we're casting Ganondorf, Ganon, Ganon's human alter ego in the movie, then Ganondorf has to have an American werewolf in London style transformation scene into Ganon. And Ganon has to be a giant pig monster. Don't skimp on this. Don't try to weasel your way out of it. I know how you are, Hollywood. Well, modern audiences might think that a pig monster is lame. What if Ganon instead turned in... No. No, Sony executive. No. Sit down. Giant pig monster. And Zelda has to do the, the chest pledgy thing it's expected at this point she has to do it that's all i've got right now i've used up my my energy for the day
Maybe I'll do some more later. I don't know. I'm tired. They're making a Zelda movie. Did you hear?